The coronavirus or the COVID-19 pandemic as it was known affected people across the globe. National leaders took a stand against the virus by announcing nationwide lockdowns. One such announcement was made by the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, on 25th March 2020. We looked forward to empty roads, overflowing hospitals and loss of livelihood. Let's understand the woes of the pandemic that affected the community and the aged in particular through the eyes of a lone Parsi gentleman. Sabji, I, a lone, a lone Parsi, senior citizen, with lots of health problems, unable to walk continuously, was diagnosed with COVID after the RT-PCR test. I went to Parsi General Hospital. But to my surprise, separate COVID ward 24 by 7, international standards were maintaining, I could say. Within a week, I got discharged. But even after coming home, my worry started. Because who will cook for me? From where will I get my medicines? And how I will survive? But thanks to all the Parsi organizations, Parsi trust, Parsi groups, and the individuals of the Parsi colonies, they have made beautiful arrangements to provide groceries, daily needs, medicines to our doorsteps. Then vaccination started. And thanks to Parsi General Hospital to provide vaccination to all the Parsis free of cost. And I got all my doses, all the three doses. Now I am recovering from physical as well as my mental trauma also. My salute to all those unsung heroes. We realize through the eyes of this lone Parsi gentleman, the trauma that our community face, especially the old and the feeble, especially the ones that saw the virus close enough and needed hospitalization. Many institutes offered help. One such established institute is the Parsi General Hospital. Let's hear from the president of the Parsi General Hospital, Mr. Homa Pettit. Greetings from the B.D. Pettit Parsi General Hospital to all our friends, well-wishers and donors, not only in USA, but the world over and to the 12th World Congress attendees. In March 2020, the world plunged into one of its worst healthcare crisis with the COVID-19 pandemic. There was a shortage of practically everything from hospital beds and infrastructure, oxygen, PPE kits, ventilators, medical and nursing staff and vaccines. We quickly opened COVID wards with all beds equipped with piped oxygen and a separate COVID ICU and a step-down ICU. All this was only possible because of our dedicated frontline staff our honorary doctors and you, our dear donors, all of you being our COVID heroes. Now that the fourth wave has started, we are better prepared. And even as I speak, we have today more than 25 COVID variant patients in our hospital. From the period March 2020, to date, we have treated more than 1,200 proved COVID cases and a couple of hundred more with post-COVID effects. These patients were in all ages and classes of admission, ranging from the rich and middle class to the subsidized and free beds for the poor. We have also been recognized as a COVID vaccination center and we have to date administered 22,500 free doses of vaccines 
to Parsis. And as of today, more than a hundred youngsters between the age of 12 and 17 have been inoculated with their first dose. I end by once again expressing our deepest gratitude to all our donors, big and small, from all over the world, without whose philanthropy we would not have been able to overcome the COVID pandemic and also to support our non-COVID healthcare, particularly for the poor, needy and sick of the community. Thank you once again for your unstinted support. It is not just the medical care, but also the non-medical support provided by organizations and individuals in cash and kind that help the community stay afloat. One such individual and organization is the WZO Trust Chairman, Mr. Dinsha Tamboli. Greetings from Mumbai, India to all the delegates attending the World Zoroastrian Congress at New York. During the times that we live in, the COVID pandemic has been one of the most daunting challenges that present day generations have had to contend with. It was a time when all seemed to be lost. It was also a time when our very survival depended on our ability to face and overcome the challenge that was laid before us. The Parsi Irani Zoroastrian community, like people from all over the world, suffered as never before. As with all countries, India too was ravaged by the pandemic. Thousands of lives were lost, jobs were lost, businesses had collapsed and mankind had become very vulnerable. We extend our sincere gratitude to each and every donor who contributed towards this humanitarian effort as per their means. Special mention has to be made of seven heroes whose contributions made a massive difference to alleviate the suffering of community members on account of the pandemic. The W0 Trusts could only render aid of such magnitude to affected community members due to the generosity of the Zoroastrian Charity Funds of Hong Kong, Canton and Macau, Purveen and Jal Shroff of Hong Kong, Perin and Noshir Pauri of Hong Kong, Fezana, Federation of Zoroastrian Associations of North America, ZTFE, Zoroastrian Trust Funds of Europe, WZO, World Zoroastrian Organization, USA Region, and by Manikbai PBGGY, Deed of Settlement Fund, Mumbai. As a community, we are indeed extremely fortunate and privileged that we have within us so many champions of philanthropy who have between them contributed rupees 54 million or in terms of US dollars, 695,000. May Avra Mazda continue to shower his blessings on our community and all mankind for all time to come. Hello. Today I look better, correct? Because pandemic is under control now and we can smile. It's a common joke that a lone Parsi will find a way to fight with himself in the mirror also. <laughs> But I proved my mirror wrong. We Zoroastrians help each other collectively. Not just within our own proximity, but also across the geographical boundaries. For which we express our humble gratitude to them for their support and care. More so, the august presence of over a thousand people watching this film today are the testimony to the fact that we the Zoroastrians will survive, flourish and thrive despite the odds over the centuries to come. May Dada Navaramazda be with all of us. Yasdan Panabar.